think the overall quality and the texture work of the control tower here at Stansted is really good. In fact, actually, I've, see, I've this is better than some of the payware control towers that I've seen, I must say. United, Victor, 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 Victor,
there has been a lot of ground clutter and details such as baggage carts, stairs, trucks, vans and cars being added in, even on this side of the airport. We now get a proper Fay air hangar, which was missing from the default scenery, while the Titan Airways hangar and the in-flight centre now all look true to life. Heading over the runway, once again we are met with the stunning custom models for the Diamond Aviation Hangar and the Ryanair Maintenance Building. I love the blast walls here and the Ryanair 737s that have been added in for extra realism. The apron textures here look really great actually, the imperfections and cracked tarmac have been done to a really high standard. Again the taxiway textures and markings look really really good. And I love that Liam has added in the real life control tower and cargo hub buildings here. They look really, really good. The little details like the FedEx trucks and the TNT trucks, along with the markings like the weathering down the side of this Royal Mail building, just add, brings everything together to make this airport look more realistic and more true to life. The level of ground clutter, I must say, is tremendous. There's crates and carts and forklifts and i think liam's done a fantastic job to bring this all together and it and it looks it looks convincing it doesn't look like it's staged in my opinion i think the overall quality and the texture work of the control tower here at stansted is really good in fact actually i've seen this is better than some of the payware control towers that i've seen i must say and can you count how many cars there are in the car park down below there that's uh, that's insane that uh, loads of things to digest again in in this scenery the piers all look true to life we'll obviously be getting closer to them the blast shield uh, blast wall rather facing the car park and yet everything looks a thousand times better than the default scenery and look at that, we actually get an interior to the control tower. And yeah, it looks great. There's nothing on the screens and it's not the most detailed control tower that we've seen in these series. But remember, it is a freeway and to even get such a thing is, is again, is it, fabulous really. The Hampton and Enterprise buildings here look really stunning. And I do love the animated flags in front of the hotel there. The road leading up to the landside area of the terminal. Again, custom terminal building. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. And throughout this scenery, you will see animated vehicles like baggage carts, buses, and a train that heads off around the side of the, the air side of the building. The front of the terminal building at Landside at Stansted here and again fantastic work in the custom model by Liam here the roofing structure and the roof itself you've got a partial interior to this and the piers as well which again for a freeware scenery is uh, sometimes unheard of he's also added in the coach station over to the right with some custom buses in there as well that what that building and sort of roof and structure wasn't there before and i do love the spotlights for the car parks the animator flag once again are really well rendered the uh, sort of the physics to them don't look fake at all and yeah we've got some custom signage and lights the animated buses that move around the exterior of the building also look really really great as well more brilliant work to change the autogen buildings to the real life versions of them the radisson blue hotel again with more animated flags there just behind over to the right there is the multi-story car park which wasn't present at all even in the autogen form it didn't um try and reproduce it or put a building there it was just a flat texture and overall i think uh, liam has done a, a fantastic job already and we haven't even checked the air side with the air bridges and the piers getting closer to air side now at stansted the multi-story car park is absolutely stunning and you can see the ryanair baggage cart just making its way behind that multi-story park car park it's great that i love it um all the ryan airplanes on the remote stands here um it does state on the flightsim.to page that this is the airport as it was in 2020 to 2021 so i'd imagine the planes here are all on stand due to covid and them not being used the 
construction site in the middle here. I'd imagine there's a new pier being um, built there. I'm not too sure. Maybe someone could let me know in the comments. I'm sure if I've done my <laughs> did my homework, um, which I usually do, I would have found that out. But you can let me know in the comments what they're making in this construction site. And again, off into the distance, we're seeing the car parks with more cars in them and it doesn't look as flat as it once did i do love the elevation in the terrain if you look further past the ryan airplanes you can see the elevation in the hill and once again there's one of the animated buses going past and to have animated objects within a freeway scene 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 scenery rather is actually really really amazing the work that has gone into this scenery is nothing short of spectacular it is amazing Again, animated bus going past. You can see the animated sort of tram or train on the air side side of the of the terminal. Just over by the terminal there, you can see the sort of the railway system that Liam has built to match the real life version. The piers look fantastic. I must say the, the sort of the green reflective glass on the piers looks great. PBR texturing being used, of course. And again, more ground cut clutter. Can you just see the the objects that have been scattered around on the floor just to the right of shot there and you can also see the stand markings with their own unique stand custom stand object uh, gate 61l you can see there apron lighting and the apron lights above uh, the buildings look uh, amazing again we're going to go into the night lighting soon and then you'll see what the airport looked like before and after in my before and after section it's great to see that the air bridges have now been fixed and you can see a partial or it is a full interior to that pier it's not as detailed as you would get in some payway sceneries of course but remember this is a freeway scenery talking about and again ground clutter and the level of custom objects on offer within this scenery is just extraordinary i love those animated assets they're really really amazing and here is a better look at air side of the scenery at Stansted Airport and I think it is about time now to check out the night lighting for this scenery so let's rewind those clocks and watches guys and head back to 1am to see what it looks like at night time. <laughs> And doesn't that look really, really fantastic? Even the animated objects have lights to them. The train and the bus have lights that guide their way. The, the terminal building looks, looks really, really brilliant, actually. The apron lights, again, look really, really good. Let's take a look of what it looks like <laughs> up above to see the whole airport and, and see where everything's lit from. And we'll take a look around and then move on to the before and after section. And I'll tell you what, that is some extraordinary night lighting for a freeway scenery. I love how the piers are lit up, the apron lights illuminating the apron down below the hotel and the enterprise house are all lit up realistically the top of the terminal building here the skylights above you can see all of what what would be an, an interior lit up of course there is no 3d modeled interior but again all the animated objects moving moving around the uh, the airport are all lit up and it looks very realistic and did I mention actually that this is a free uh, a free scenery that you can download? It's 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 really incredible. So it is now time to dive into my before and after section. And if you don't know how this works, I'll be showing you what the default scenery looked like at the top of your screen and how it looks once you've installed this freeway add-on. This is a good opportunity to see different parts of the airport and how much Liam has up it and feel free to pause it at any time and have a look and have a good pro proper look over and just see how much of a beautiful job he's done with this scenery.
Stance Today Airport by Liam G is available over on flightsin.to. I've put a link for it in the description down below. What I would say is from today when I last checked the download page, it seems that Liam G hasn't really commented on any of the more recent comments to his download. I don't know if the development for the scenery has stopped. The last update was August of last year. It was released in early August last year and I'm sure people have seen this already but I did want to feature it on my channel because I think it's absolutely fantastic and let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you've downloaded it before and used it or if you're going to go and grab it now after seeing this video. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Practically Geek channel for more Microsoft Flight Simulator content just like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very very soon.